Hey, it's Nicole Kellerman Worth, founder and creator of WildlyAliveWeightLoss.com. From body image, spirituality, beliefs, money, and movement, to relationships, motherhood, creativity, sisterhood, and mindset, Wildly Alive Weight Loss is a place to come for practical advice and real stories on how to create a lifestyle you adore and a body you feel proud of. And today I'm sharing with you one way to lose weight fast. Yes, you heard those words out of my mouth, but it doesn't have anything to do with diet or exercise. There's my little spin on it. So what I first want to do is talk to you about uh, a time in my life when I just effortlessly lost weight without even thinking about it. So the summer of 2013, so many people were like, oh my gosh, Nicole, what are you doing? You look so thin. Have you lost weight? And I was like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not doing anything differently. I'm not exercising differently. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not eating any differently. I'm doing nothing different or outside of my norm. But then when I took a moment and stepped back, I realized that what I was doing that was so different was I was relaxing and I wasn't stressed. I said to Zach at the beginning of the summer, I said, hey, I want a lot of space in our calendar. We live in one of the most beautiful places in the country and we're constantly leaving. I just want some space to spontaneously get up and go camping for a night or you know, go for a hike or go mountain biking because I felt like we were so busy planning things all the time that we were never able to really even relax. Like I just wanted space to relax. Now, don't get me wrong, um, you know, the things that we had planned from an outsider's perspective looked really fun and really enjoyable. And, and yeah, they were. But to our bodies, when we don't give our selves an opportunity to relax and chill and channel our lady of leisure that is a form of stress and we all know that stress causes weight gain or prevents weight loss hello cortisol so stress is a huge component of your weight loss uh, holistic way of thinking you need to take it into consideration even if your diet's on point and you're move you've been moving your body regularly but you're not losing weight at all it could absolutely be your stress or um, you're just so stressed out that none of those other aspects are working out in your favor either so it's just kind of like a snowball effect So a big source of your stress right now could be your weight. So you see how this is so interesting, how it's so interwoven. The reason why I don't work out and I don't exercise well is because I'm stressed and I'm stressed about the fact that I'm overweight and it's it's, it's like, where do you even start, right? So the other day, um, I had a woman call me from right here in the Vale Valley and she wanted me to come to her house and talk to her about losing weight because she recently just gained like 30 pounds and she does not know what to do and she was really frustrated. And so, you know, I, I set up an appointment with her and I saw her on Monday. And so I went over there and I started talking to her and she was telling me all these things that she was doing to try to lose weight. She had, tr- she had tried Nutrisystem and she was like, that was the worst thing ever. That food tastes absolutely disgusting. I don't understand how people lose weight on that. <laughs> um, and so she was in the process of sending all the food back. And then she showed me these diet shakes that she had bought. And she was a woman who has never really, lucky for her, she has never worried about her health before. But, you know, her intentions were in a good place. She was she was following what the mainstream media wants us to, right? Is to believe that all you have to do is take these pills or drink these shakes or eat these meals and then you'll lose weight. And can you lose weight on those things? You absolutely can, but it's not sustainable. And it wasn't working for her. Or what she was realizing is that all of that stuff was really disgusting. And But the biggest thing that I noticed about her is she was so frustrated. She was talking about how she would look at herself in the mirror and she would call herself pregnant. 
and how she would, every time she went and played pickleball, um, she would wear this one jacket that made sure it didn't show her stomach because it stressed her out. She didn't want to see, she didn't want her friends to see how much weight she had gained. You could tell that she was just spinning, 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 spinning in this belly fat, this belly fat, this belly fat, because she gained it all in her stomach over the last like three months. And, you know, of course I talked to her about a lot of the things that I tell you is really coming back to just the basics of nutrition, eating whole foods, eating foods that really most of us were raised on, um, eating whole grains and lean meats. And it's not about the shakes or the pills or these new big flashy things that apparently are supposed to help you lose weight. It's just coming back to where... Uh, just the basics. That's really what it is. So wait, I talked to her about that, but the biggest assignment I gave her, I said, you have got to release this stress and this chaos in your mind around losing the weight because that is holding the weight more than ever. You know, because when we're constantly stressed out, we go into the fight, flight, or freeze. And when we do that, our body stores all the fat in our body, um, and then it makes it practically impossible to lose any weight. And so I really instilled in her, and if you can relate to her story at all, and if you go multiple times a day and you think about your weight, that is actually holding, making the weight not budge, more than anything else, right? Because just like I said, if you were eating well and you're moving regularly, but you're still just focusing on, ugh, this weight is still here. Why is this weight here? I don't get it. Why isn't it gone? Why isn't it gone? Look at her, she figured it out. Oh, look at that Facebook ad, she figured it out. Maybe I should try that rap thing. You know, like if you're just constantly spinning in those thoughts, you are filling your body with so much stress that it's actually keeping the weight on or adding more weight to it. So what I need you to do is come into a place of trust. Trust the journey. Trust the process. Trust your body. Follow a lot of the principles that I've talked to you about food of listening to your body when you're hungry, eat. When you're full, stop. So simple. Be a food lover and move your bodies in ways that feel good and then just trust. It is not supposed to happen overnight. Night. You are not supposed to lose 10 pounds in one week. That's not realistic and the faster you lose it, the higher the likelihood of you gaining it back. You need to give your body a chance to release the fat. And when you're really stressed out and you're in that fight, flight, or freeze, your body doesn't know that you're just stressing out about your weight. What your body thinks is that there's a lion in the other room wanting to kill you. That's what your body thinks. And so it's like, oh crap, we got to get out of here. <laughs> or you just freeze, right? And then the cortisol builds up in your system and, you know. So you have to really relax and trust the process. So if, you, if you'd like to take this a step further and really learn how to relax and trust and stop this what I call weight loss stress, or, yeah, weight stress, um, is I want to introduce you to Helga. So most of you listening to this have an idea of who Helga is. And um, if you know her or not, I think it would be good for everyone to revisit Helga and how she plays a huge role in what's going on in your mind. So if you don't know who Helga is, then just go to wildlyaliveweightloss.com and take the quiz and we'll actually talk specifically about your Helga and what your Helga says. Or if you're already familiar with her, then I want you to go to wildlyaliveweightloss.com slash Helga and revisit that video where I kind of talk to her, talk about her a little bit more in depth and really break her down so you can start to decipher, is this Helga? Is it Helga saying that I look pregnant and ugly and I'm the only one that's going to stay stuck in this body forever and I'm never going to figure it out? Or is it me? Is it who I am in my heart and soul? Because that's what the whole Helga concept helps you 
gives you that level of power is you get to decipher if it's her or if it's you. Because so often we just think that that voice is us and that we have to listen to it. But you do not have to listen to that voice. And, and personifying her, which is what those trainings teach you to do, gives you so much power in that moment to say, hey, don't call me pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Don't talk about me that way. That's not cool. It just gives you an opportunity to choose differently and to stop this hamster wheel going over and over and over in your head that is causing so much of this weight stress. You know what I'm saying? So Helga is so important. If, if you leave anything, if you get anything from me and from Wildly Alive Weight Loss, it's learning about Helga and revisiting it. If you've been here for a while, it's so important for you to continue to pull that apart, pull those kind of personalities apart. So you can really start choosing from your heart and from your soul and who you really are. So those are really some um, powerful trainings. I highly suggest you go check, check them out. Again, if you are new to Helga, go to wildlyaliveweightloss.com and take the quiz. Um, and if you uh, know who she is and you need to brush up on your, your Helga education, um, go to wildlyaliveweightloss.com slash Helga and rewatch that video. So. I want to hear from you. I want to know uh, what your Helga says the most often. So I did some prompts in Facebook to see um, kind of the general uh, voice that she has. So I want to hear, or, or any other questions that you have around Helga, or you have around this weight stress, and any sort of feedback that you want um, on your own struggles with weight and, and stress and mindset. Okay, so press star two to raise your hand. So one question that um, I often get when it comes to Helga is how do you know if it's Helga speaking or if it's you speaking? And so when Helga speaks, for me, it's very constricting. It's kind of like smart alecky, it's not very nice, it's snarky, it's kind of can be a little bitchy it's it's not it's not a good feeling in my body I'll tell you that and then when I tune into me and my intuition and who I really am it's expansive it's relaxing it feels good and maybe what my intuition is saying might be the scarier road to go down if I was trying to make a decision but I would still have this sense of peace and trust within my body so when I first introduce Helga what so often happens is women go off into their lives and they realize that Helga is speaking 90% of the time and they are very very discouraged but what I always say to them is awareness is the key to change and at least you're figuring out this now then never and the more you recognize as you go through your life that it's Helga and it's not you the quieter she will become and I teach you in those trainings what to do when you actually hear her voice so um, another way that you you know if it's Helga speaking or you is most often when you're first introduced to Helga she's the first voice that comes in so say um, you get in your car and you're done with work and you had plans to go and jog at the local park. You're sitting in your car and you're like, do I want to go run? The thing that's going to happen in that moment is usually Helga's going to come in first and be like, oh no, you've had such a long day. You deserve a big glass of wine and your favorite TV show. Like she, and you see she's like a little snarky. But if you take a moment and just take a breath and say, okay, all right, I heard you. Do I really want to go run? And you really settle into who you are and you're like, I know it would make me feel really good. And hey, I only need to run or walk. I could walk. I could walk for 10 minutes. How about that? And you're going to feel this sense of relaxation through your body. And so when you're asking these questions, more likely than not, Helga's going to come in first. You take a deep breath. You kind of push her snarky um, comment aside. 
and you tune in again and you really listen to who you are. You can be like, okay, Helga, thanks for your input, whatever. And then you can really tune into your intuition. As you start to recognize her more, now for me, I feel like my intuition comes in first now. So it kind of flip-flops. It, it's all a matter of how much real power she has over you um, in that moment. And the more you learn about her, the more, the more you step into control and you step into the power. Okay? So, um, okay. Let's go over to 7070, your name and your question about Helga. Hi, Nicole. It's Berlin. Hi. Hi. Um, so when I first, when you first talked about Helga in the very beginning, when I was, when I learned about it, I didn't have a lot of Helga show up. Mm. And I know we talked about it a couple of times and, um, like I really didn't, you know, but, um, like when she came up for me really strong, I don't know if you remember what we talked about it, is when I found out I couldn't have the skin removal surgery or I wasn't a good candidate for it, mm -hmm. you know, because I felt like that's what I had been working hard for for the last two years, you know, because on my two-year anniversary, I was going to have the skin removal. Well, you know, a couple of months ago, I found out I wasn't a good candidate. So that's when she got really strong and was like, well, you're going to have that gut for the rest of your life or you're going to have that extra skin for the rest of your life and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And that's when she got ugly to me and that's when I, you know, so. And even still, like, I have issues with her, you know, like she still pops up and stuff. I try to shut her down and sometimes I can and then sometimes, you know, it gets to me and stuff. But, yeah, so that's when she really showed up. Because I think in the beginning, I think I was just, working so hard on losing the weight, so I, because that's the goal I was working for. I was working on having the skin removal, you know, so right. I felt like that's why I was working so hard, and then just all of a sudden to say, oh, I don't think you're a good candidate because of this and because of that, which, you know, I mean, I don't want to still do it because, you know, I'm not, I mean, it's not worth putting my life at risk, you know? Right. When you have well, other things okay. going on and stuff. So, so, Berlin, I think actually what your Helga was saying, so... You know, Helga wears many different hats, and you know this, but when you first joined, you had this ambitious goal to lose a significant amount of weight, and you were already on your way to that goal pretty steadfast. So what your Helga was saying, because you were very much like a visionary, and if you take in the Wildly Alive quiz, you will know what a Wildly Alive visionary is. They're very, very determined yeah. um, strengths. And so what your Helga was saying is she was saying you need to work out more. You don't need to relax. You can't relax. You don't have time to relax. You have a weight loss goal. What are you doing? You need to get your butt up and you need to get to a gym. And no, 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 no. You better not have that cake because you got a goal. You got to focus on that goal. So that's what your Helga was, was saying so that's to what you. Okay, so that's just you're saying. You to, that was still Helga, even though I didn't think it was. Right, because what, when we started working together, my biggest thing for you is to get you to relax, you know, and get you to... <laughs> to so your, your thoughts about your weight were in a different context, but it was still creating a lot of stress in your body. So I'm so glad that you raised your hand because I'm sure there are plenty of women who can relate to your particular Helga when you first joined. And that's how mine was too, is like, you gotta do the next diet because if you don't do the next diet, then you're, you're gonna gain weight. Or, you know, it was just very, it was like restrictive Helga. It was like really bossy Helga and telling me that I can't have any fun and I can't go out with my girlfriends and I can't go on vacations because I gotta stay fit or I gotta lose this weight. You know, she was, yeah, it, it wasn't necessary. Now, I, st I still had a Helga that beat up my body, for sure, and beat me uh, up. But yeah. that was definitely, like, sh that Helga, that voice was taken over, taken over in my mind, like, 95% of the time, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think your Helga was saying when you first started. Uh -huh. and, you know, and she, she can. She can wear many different hats. So. I know that you, ha you are now at a point where you're so aware of her that you're able to shift her. And there are things that kind of set her off. You know, there, are, there mm -hmm. are times of our life when we feel like she's not really a around and then something happens, like something happens at work or our husband says something hurtful or our mom says something and then all of a sudden 
there she is again. Yeah. And that's where the work comes yeah. in. You know, that's where the real transformation comes in is really tuning into your body and breathing through it and talking yourself kind of through it to finally put her to rest in that particular situation. Because I'm sure it wasn't the first time that she came up in that context. Yeah. No, right? uh, yeah. So, all right, dear. Okay. Well, thanks so much for raising your hand. No problem. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. Okay, anybody else start you to raise your hand? I'm going to go over to that Facebook post that I was asking people. I was asking, uh, I was asking everyone on Facebook. Okay, so Emily says, how can I silence her? I want to walk into a store and the doors are glass and I can he all I can hear is Helga saying how fat I am or how gross I look and immediately I want to go down and eat a bag of chips and a huge, and have a huge soda. Okay, so Let's go, let's just take ourselves back into that situation, Emily, and really imagine what was going on. So I can totally relate to the fear of um, looking at your own reflection. I remember the first time that I saw myself in a reflection. I was actually in, um, I was actually in Las Vegas on a um, vacation and I saw a reflection of myself and I had realized how much weight I had gained in that moment and it it made me sick like I almost puked in that moment um, and so I'm just saying I know the fear of seeing your reflection but you know there's a lot here in terms of coming into um, appreciation for what your body does for you and the fact that you are able to walk up to those doors, right? Or that you're able to even see your reflection because there are millions of people who cannot see at all. And there are millions of people who cannot walk. And how we take those small things for granted. And so anyway, we're, we're sitting there, we're walking up and you see your reflection and you hear Helga say, oh my gosh, you're so ugly. You're, you, should, you shouldn't even be walking into the store. All those nasty things that she says. I just want you to take a deep breath And just, there's one of two things you can do here. And you have to tune into what is the best uh, energy for yourself. You can either be mean, and you can either be like, uh, Helga, shut up, go away. Or you can take a deep breath, and you can just like say, okay, thank you, not so thank you for sharing. I know that I'm beautiful. I know that my body has is doing so much for me right now. Look at the fact that I'm walking in here. Look at the fact that I can hear what's going on around me. I can hear the doors opening. Wow, my body is giving to me 24 seven. My heart is beating and it hasn't stopped since the moment I came into this world. My body is doing that for me. She's pretty freaking amazing. So you can turn it, you can turn it into gratitude or you can just be kind of blunt with Helga. And I will say, at the beginning when you first learn about Helga, that kind of assertive, maybe slightly aggressive energy does um, help. That's how I kind of, you know, worked through her. Um, but now it's kind of more of a loving approach because, you know, if you've watched the training or not, Emily, go and revisit that, um, that video and you can really see the different ways you can speak to her and the energies that you can come at her because it is always different for each person. So anyway, that's what I would suggest is um, either having that assertive slash aggressive energy or more having the loving energy where you're kind of like loving on Helga a little bit, kinda. <laughs> the training will make a little bit more sense why you'd wanna love up on Helga. Um, and it's a constant, at the beginning, it's something you're going to have to constantly think about. It's going to be like, ah, okay, shift it. But then over time, it will become less frequent and you won't have to do it as often. And you will be basically training yourself to revamping how you think about yourself and your body and your weight. Okay, so I hope that helps. Let me know um, if you have any questions around that at all. 
So, all right, ladies, thank you so much for coming to the call live. You know that it means so much to me when you show up here and you raise your hand and you get coached. Stop being so shy. Okay, guys, stop being so shy. You know that I do not bite. And if you're listening to the recording, I love you too, my dear. It says a lot when you tune in and make time for yourself, and I really appreciate you spending your precious time with me. If you'd like to come live, I would love to have you. Visit wildlyaliveweightloss.com slash coach to learn more about these calls and how to participate and how to talk to me. And if you can't, you can always um, email support at wildlyaliveweightloss.com with any questions or reply any of our emails and I would happy, be happy to answer them on future calls. All right. Well, you guys have a great week. Have a look out for Helga. Be sure to check out those um, different trainings so you can really relax in this process and trust this process so you can give your body the ability to do what it's meant to because truth be told we're not meant to have excess amounts of weight on our body and it's our mind that's actually keeping that on so if we can trust and relax then your beautiful body can just do her awesome thing and start releasing the fat okay i love you all bye Hello there, it's Nicole Kellerman Worth from wildlyaliveweightloss.com and Mr. Wyatt Worth. You say hi? hi. Say hi. <laughs> and that's uh, Mia and George behind me. Like, this is my working life. Welcome to my home. <laughs> so, I wanted to stop in really quick and make sure that you've taken the Wildly Alive quiz if you haven't already. Because this quiz is going to really clear up why you're shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to weight loss. And we're also going to create a wildly alive weight loss plan like you've never heard before. So if you're one of those women that say, I know what I should be doing to lose weight, but I'm just not following through, this is the missing piece, your mindset. That's what we're going to get into. We're going to really dig deep into what's going on in between those ears so your beliefs line up with what you want so you can start actually following through and in a way that feels really good and inspiring for you. So again, head on over to wildlyaliveweightloss.com, take the quiz, and together let's create your personalized weight loss plan. All right, see you there. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Wyatt. Say bye.